Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of RampProMaster.us channel with your favorite host, Mr. Hollywood, or Senor Hollywood, me amo, es Senor Hollywood. Dzień dobry Państwu, witam w naszym show of the ProMaster 3500 2020. New decade is here, so new stuff's here as well. What you will see, this is the non-chrome edition, because there was another video that you will see with the blue one. It's got the chrome package. No chrome package here. This is a new front fascia. The RAM logo in the front uh, now is actually spelled out versus the RAM head that was on the previous one. The design of the exterior, a lot of people question and ask why the ProMaster was designed in the way that it was. So the reason for it was these bumpers are actually split into three different pieces to minimize the cost of repairs and replacement. They're also flexible, so if you do hit it, it's hard to see, but if you do hit it, it will retract itself back. The other cool part is this bumper is protruding forward because the most expensive uh, thing in a small fender bender is the light. So if you whack into this, your chances of hitting light are very, very small. So the way the ProMaster is also designed is to manage the weight load. Uh, because these are front wheel drive, all the weight is focused on the front. The engine's right here. The uh, passengers and you are right here. The cabin's above the wheel. That way you maximize traction even when the vent is empty. You might notice if you drive like a Mercedes Sprinter or, or a Ford Transit with the rear wheel drive, when there's nothing in your van, you have no traction and you're sliding all over the place. And if you're in the city like we are in Chicago in the Midwest, you're in a disaster zone of sliding. But you probably want to know the sizes of these puppies. So there has been a few changes done this year. The 3500 non-extended, which is this one, is a 159 inch wheelbase, which is from the center of the front wheel to the center of the back wheel. The cargo length is actually 12 feet of floor cargo length, right? And you got six foot three of cargo width, six foot five of height, which means you can comfortably stand in there up to six foot five. If you're taller than that, well, well I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to duck a little bit so you don't damage your forehead walking in. These also have the best in class wheel well width of 56 inches between the wheel wells, so you can easily fit a pallet in between it with room, with room to spare. These in total length are about 236 inches in height, they're about 99 inches total. This side door is actually wide enough for you to fit an American sized pallet through uh, in either, either way you're trying to put it in, which is nice because you can load it from both sides. You will see that this is not the metal floor we have on standard models. This actually has the composite wooden floor with textures to prevent slippy, uh, slipping. You will see I'm six feet tall. When I step in there, I have plenty of room spared to stand, right? I still have room. I know this little ledge right here, so you're going to have to duck when you're walking in, but room to spare for my head, even with the floor. And as well, you will see the LED lights in here. So this is very spacious. The one thing people really love about the Ram ProMaster is the actual nearly 90 degree walls because it makes it easy to A, stuff this van full of goodies and B, to upfit it with whether you want shelves or whatnot. It's really easy to add those on because of the way that the space is maximized. The cubic volume, 402 uh, the cubic feet of volume for space. Loading floor height is 21 inches. You can put 4,430 30 pounds of payload in here and tow up to 6,750 pounds, which is a huge jump from last year's model, which was able to tow 5,100 pounds. The doors in the back open up to 260 degrees. They almost lay flat with the side of the doors. The hinges are reinforced so that they don't rip off in strong winds. You have the uh, Cargo bearing bumper, which can hold on to my fat self right here. See, I can jump. It's not ripping off like my Fiat. And you have the camera up top, which is placed in the perfect spot. A lot of car manufacturers put the camera in the dead center. That's cool. But what happens when you have like a bar, like a goalie field, imagine sending over there, and you don't see it on your camera because you're looking down. Well, with this camera, you'll see everything. So you won't whack into it. The same idea as of the front of securing you in small fender benders because when we're driving vans, let's face it, when your employees drive vans, whether you drive a van, people are going to tap, uh, tap you, they're going to hit you, they're going to scrape you. The bumpers are divided into three pieces again on the back as well and the lights are raised and the bumpers protruded so you don't damage the lights in small incidents. Guys, I'm going to show you the interior features now, all the features for the cabin so you can learn a little bit more. I'll see you there. A lot of you guys have been asking about the two-sided doors. 
right? This one is one of those models where the doors are on both sides for easy loading from either side. Keep in mind, when getting one of these vans, it limits your ability to upfit it with shelves because you cannot really put anything on the door, right? You have to put everything from that space. But this is great if you carry pallets, if you carry boxes, if you have a lot of stuff to carry. This is a great expediter version of the van because when you pull up in a tight alley and you have one spot to pull out from, it's easier to be able to be versatile without having to turn around. However, these cars, these vans have an amazing turning radius. You know why. People always ask, what's the cost? Well, the engineers are actually paired up from Fiat and Chrysler. If you've ever been to Italy and you've seen the roads and streets, they are tight. So this thing has a tight turning radius. You can pop a U-turn easily in most places as if it was a car. It's phenomenal. It's hard to show you on camera. You just got to test drive one and see it yourself. Let's hop on in and show you the cabin. Cabin of the Promaster. You will see not much has changed on the interior. Of course, it is designed with the driver in mind. So it is very, everything's easy to reach. Everything's easy to control. Everything's super simple so that you can just focus on your task at hand. Large size knobs for uh, air conditioning and heating control. So if you're wearing construction gloves or heavy gloves in general, it's easier to do. Uh, your touchscreen is actually a TFT touchscreen with the Uconnect system. What that means is you don't actually need to use your fingers like on your phone. You can touch it with just about anything. Tip of a pen, uh, tip of your, your glove, tip of just about anything. You can actually make the screen work. Um, you can use your nose <laughs> if you do it on your phone. Like it's, it's kind of kind of awesome that you can do that. Uh, I really like that because it highlights the uh, the usability for construction workers. You also have a clipboard for all your documents. I know a lot of construction guys, they throw papers all over there and it gets disorganized. This keep, helps you keep organized. Two glove boxes, a little shelf with a rubber mat that is easily machine washable. You can throw into the dishwasher and um, controls for your phone, controls for the Bluetooth and speakers, easy. Uh, the Bluetooth uh, microphone is right here, so it's easier to hear you too. You see the visibility. When you look around this van, you do feel like you're in a semi-truck almost, right? It's almost like you're in a straight truck, you're up high. This is the Expediter vision, uh, edition with the Expediter package, which means it has a suspension seat. What the suspension seat does is keeps you in place as you go over bumps, as you'll see that kind of amortizes you so it doesn't hurt your back on long drives. It's phenomenal if you're a long distance driver or if you're, you're a hauler for long distances. The touchscreen in this case, this one is not equipped with navigation, but it, when it does have navigation, it's equipped with the buttons in the center. Uh, phone connectivity, of course, for media, Bluetooth, and phone calls. You have AM, FM, radio. Uh, SXM is available on certain models by request. Uh, for media, you have USB plug-in and aux plug right here, so you have the master controls. Nobody can take over. You do have a USB power plug and a regular power plug right here as well. Four speakers. It pumps up just enough music for you to enjoy. Uh, quality is also pretty decent in my opinion. I think it's just enough to cruise down and jam out. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for the ProMaster. Uh, what are the options that are available? This one also has the power uh, mirrors that have you have the two little corners. You can do the top one and the bottom one on both sides. They're also power folding. It's an option that all of them will have it. These are available with a third seat in the middle as well if you're, if you're curious about it. And we do have a crew version that can seat up to six people total. It's awesome. To find out more, just click on the link below and go to our website. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Mr. Hollywood out. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Like our channel, subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can reach me at michal at jackphalen.com uh, directly. Or you can make a comment and whatever you'd like. And I'll answer all your questions as soon as I can. You can also call Sebastian Novak directly to order one of these and get it delivered to your home via the ProMaster Home Direct program. How does it work? Well, all you do is you pick one of these, or if you don't know which one you want or which, one, which size you need, you call Sebastian at the number and you find out, and he helps you pick the right size and the right band for you. We have all colors, all trims available, 2020s. We also have some remaining 2019s. If you want a really good deal, you can, you can get one of those. So the back is actually really cool. The doors open up 260 degrees. You have a loading floor height of 21 inches. The tow hook is right there. When you open these doors, the doors fold, fold flat for a 60. Great. <sighs> Another salesman sleeping on the job. Cut.